Okay, I'm going to record installing the motherboard now. Um, hopefully, I'm not too much in the way of it. I'm, I'm one person here, so I don't have a lot of room. Let's see if I can get that. Not like that. Trying to get the best angle I can. Get my motherboard. Oh, mine's going to need to get the header out here. Zoom it all the way back. Okay, this is the header. Um, backing plate needs to go in here. Now I know that and I need to look at the motherboard here. Let's see this. Okay. So the backing plate's gonna go just like that, which is interesting. Notice the holes aren't punched out for for the sound card. So I need to take these little metal tabs here and just push them in and they just twist and break off which came with the motherboard. I don't know why they didn't do that but I guess they use these backing plates for multiple different ones and I guess one of them might not come with sound but anyway hopefully you can see what I'm doing there but now then if I look at my motherboard I can tell you that, that fits just like that. So I know it sits in there like that. So sound at the bottom. So I know this is going to sit in there like this. Motherboard. Notice I always handle it with. The, notice I always handle it with the foam on the motherboard. Um, I always leave that until I go to install it, just so that I don't damage the back of the motherboard. And uh, just a just a heads up. Back like that. Okay, looks like we're good. Okay, like I said, I already, I already measured. Get it up a little higher. I already measured the. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to best can here with this. I already measured, and I know my standoff screws. Are in the same position, so I didn't have to. Which I'm talking about these right here, these little brass standoffs, they're in the same positions, so I don't have to do any changes on those. If you did, if you were getting a new case, which was what I was going to start with, I would have actually put these in, knock any dust off, and you know, just gently put it in here. should stand in like that. Um, I always use magnetic screwdrivers. It definitely makes life easier. What I'll do now is I'm holding it with one. Because I'll get one screw and I usually like to go to this far corner over here. Get that one started. Like that. I put that one screw up there but I still got a screw to put in there. And screw put in there and there there and there so now I'll mount my other six screws and that will have my motherboard back in as you can see my header is installed our backing plate and uh, let me go ahead and move forward with that and you can see that I have all my six screws screwed to the standoffs so the motherboard is now mounted in there solid it's not going anywhere in fact, uh, that is the completion of the motherboard install uh, pleated. So uh, next we'll be hooking up the headers and you know your 24 pin ATX connector for the motherboard and then you have the four pin connector. It's hard to see, but it's right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's the, the four pin connector. So you hook this up and this up and that's, that's the power for the motherboard. So I'll go ahead and uh, you know, I do have quite a bit of work left yet. I'll go ahead and, and video that. Some of the stuff I'm going to do, I do use. I use surround sound, so I have a digital uh, digital connection. Um, I, I bought this separate. I don't even remember where I got it. It might have came with one motherboard a long time ago, but they're generic because I use three wires. I'll have to look on the on the manual. You can pull the little clips out here and move the wires around, and I might have to on that. Um, Basically, you have plus five volts, SPIF, and then ground. And uh, I might have to move those around and relocate them. It seems like I've had to do that before, but 
that goes on the down here on the motherboard header and I'll mount that because this is a this is how I hooked up my five one surround to my computer so I have to do that um, I do like to use one com port for my ham radio to do the, the terminal in facing to my my ham radio so I need to go digging around I'm pretty sure I've got a uh, a serial port header because I that'll plug into the motherboard because I know it has a serial port header on here that I'll have to plug into it. I have to see what type of plug it is. So I'm going to go do a little bit of a looking up stuff um, before I get back on here. And I'll go ahead and obviously here is all your wires for the case. This is for the reset switch, the power switch, the lights on the front, and the hard drive LED, which I'll refer to the manual. But they cut they plug into this set of pins here or the headers here. Uh, here's your six SATA ports which will hook up to, there's my SSD drive, there's the, my one terabyte drive, I also have a 500 megabyte drive in here, and I will be hooking up two SATA 3 or SATA 2 uh, DVD players with rewrites, and uh, also on the front of my case it has a, uh, a SATA, port, SATA port that I'll hook up to the motherboard as well, but uh, you'll see me hook all that up, but first let me go dig some more stuff up, but I wanted to, okay I now have the uh, all the headers installed. I was going to video that, but being one person and trying to get the camera situated, it uh, it, it's going to be more more work than it was worth. But uh, basically, as you can see here, this is all your uh, headers for your power LEDs, your power switch, your speaker, your uh, hard drive LED, and your reset switch. And uh, it's pretty easy. You just follow the manual. If you look right here on this one, you'll see there it is. It's laid out. So, and uh, the cables are marked plus and minus. So you just follow the diagram there and hook it up there. Um, I've got front USB ports. That's the front USB header. This right here goes to my MMC status indicator, my LED indicator on the front um, that I shoot showed on an earlier display and I'll show it again when I have it up and running. Now this is my SPIF. That turned into a pain. Part of the reason why I didn't record uh, typical SPIF cables like this. This is the header. I have four pins. Well the motherboard had three so I had to dig around and I actually found a. it was actually the uh, end of a plug of a uh, servo for an RC plane and I took the the connector off of it because it's three pin that would fit in there and remove the uh, three wires that, that are on this one and it plugged in I did have to uh, use a Dremel tool a little bit and it just it turned into quite a bit of work to get the SPF 5 I'm sure you can go search and purchase one but uh, I wanted to get this back up and running as fast as I can so laying around so I was able to to find something to retrofit it this is just for the uh, front well, my fingers in the way. That's just for the front audio there. And then I dug around and found this DB9 port for my serial port that I need. Um, it just plugs into the, the header here. Hopefully, the header there. Hopefully, that'll uh, that'll work. I'm guessing the pinout's generic. Um, I, of course, I matched pin 1 to pin 1. It was in the manual as well. It showed is go to mount the cooling. I'm going to try and set this up to where you can watch me mount the, uh, the cooler because I know that's probably pretty interesting. Uh, it's that Corsair 860 so see if I can go through a little video of how I install that. Um, I've done some wire management. Of course I hooked up all my SATA drives. That's I mean that's plug one into the drive and the other into the the ports. Uh, I've got six of them. And I'm actually using six with uh, with the three hard drives, the solid state, two hard drives I've got, and plus the two CD-ROMs. That's five, and then the front port. So I'm actually using all six of the SATA ports that are on the motherboard. And as you can see, trying to kind of get the wire management down. It's it, you know this is it's not a show PC, so I'm not going to get crazy with it. I just want it manageable and uh, to where I can get to everything that looks good. But uh, before I put the video card in because it's pretty big. I'm going to go ahead and try and get the CPU cooler mounted. 